Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a salon review on Sweet Pea Slime Shop. She's also a, another YouTuber who reviews slime shops. Now this just was the lucky box that I pulled out of my closet today. Um, and then for the entire box, I ended up paying $83 even. Yeah, I believe it was actually $83 even. I got six slimes all together. Um, it was free shipping because I had an order $75 and over. Um, I ordered the package on March the 13th and it arrived March the 18th, which is super fast. Now, the package did come like bubble wrap. Like, well, it had bubble wrap on top of it. And then it had these little inflatable thingies. None of them were inflated, but I mean, it doesn't bother me. So if you watched my last video, you guys know that I stated that I was going to start doing something new called show and tell. Basically where I show a charm that I actually made because slime isn't the only thing that I do. I have other crafts and hobbies that I like to do. So I'm just going to show you guys this shaker charm um, that I made. I've really been into shaker charms and it is a heart, but like the shape of a real heart. It was my first time using alcohol ink, so um, I did mess it up just a little, like the ink bled right here, but um, I really enjoy it. I really like it, and it has oil in it, so it can shake. So yeah, just wanted to share with you guys. This slime is called Outer Riches Inner Poverty. It is said to be a dense clay infused plus a clear slime. It is scented with white tea, sage, cocoa butter, cashmere, and the add-ins is gold foil, silica beads, and pearls. So her containers are very sturdy. It has the dome tops for inflation, and unfortunately it doesn't come with any warning labels for you know younger people now the base of this slime is really thick and creamy even though it had like a thick and creamy texture it was still like really glossy even after you play with it and let it sit for a while to me this slime the base of the slime rather felt like a slay slime but I believe on her website she considers it a clay and slime with the clear slime as well as you guys are gonna see coming up the clear slime it had this beautiful crystal blue look to it and the silica beads I never felt them before so I was kind of excited to get a slime that has silica beads in it and they do have like a little sharp texture to them but they weren't irritating now, if it would have just been that slime by itself, it would have been a little irritating. I assembled the slime kind of like she assembled it during her restock. And it just turned out so cute. So when I assembled the slime, I went ahead and put the pearls and the gold flakes in the slime already. And I know for a fact, like, this is like the perfect ratio of everything because I played with the slime by itself with the silica beads with the pearls and if it all didn't come like it did it definitely would have been a little irritating to the hands now I just want to mention like oh my goodness like I love this slime it's one of my favorite slimes that I ever had it inflates so much almost to 12 ounce it becomes really really sizzly like she really did her thing with this i'm telling you man underrated slime shops always like are the best popular slime shops are usually overrated to me but that's just my opinion and i've been buying slime for like two years and i'm always so impressed but this slime it has a really good stretch to it i didn't have to activate anything um that's probably because the package was still kind of new but still i digress 
even though it's clay heavy it still had nice bubble pops the only thing i was not a big fan of was the scent but that's honestly because it was like a more masculine clone scent to me and she did mention that in her restock video that it was a more potent scent so if that wasn't something you were good with she didn't recommend getting it but that's the only downside and being that she did mention that i'm not going to take off points because of it because i knew um it was coming but for this line i'm definitely going to give it a five out of five dollar signs rags to riches so i'm not going to talk a lot during this part because i just want you guys to listen to the sizzles of this line and just look at how much it inflated compared to what was purchased This slime is called Berry Crunch Bars, and it is a snow fizz plus a float, and it is said to be scented like berries and cream plus hints of blue raspberry, and it also came with four blueberry charms. So, I'm not for sure why this is called a snow fizz float. Um, I don't know, like, what's floating, so I'm not really honestly for sure but the smell is actually very accurate at first i didn't like it but it did honestly start to grow on me and i started to smell each of the scents that she stated was in here now the base of the slime you could tell it was really clear before all of the add-ins were placed in it i've actually never had a snow fizz that had foam beads in it so this was a really interesting texture one thing i did notice about this slime is that it was more sticky than the other slimes but i do think that's to keep the add-ins in the actual slime so you have to leave it like a little more sticky but a little activated can fix that but that's only if you want your beads to start falling out so this slime, it smelled really good. Like I stated, that did have to grow on me. Um, the snow fizz that was in the slime, it was not irritating to my hand. It wasn't like a super prickly plastic snow fizz. It was sizzly and it was inflatable. There was no bee fallout. So for this one, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 berries. This slime is called Banana Cafe Latte. It is said to be a sleigh plus a clear slime and said to be scented like banana latte. So, to be honest, I was actually about to sleep on this slime, but I wanted to get free shipping. So, I decided to add it to my cart, and I'm honestly really glad that I did. Now, you guys know I like to feel the base of the slime and it does feel, feel like a sleigh slime and I'm so 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 glad that she did separate the two that way I can do it myself and I was able to smell both of the slime separately now the base of the slime it was scented like banana and I was definitely afraid because I feel like banana overpowers everything. It was really stretchy and it was super soft. I thought I was going to have to add some activator, but I wanted to add the clear portion before I did anything else.
this is like the coffee portion of the slime and it looks like a very dark black but it's actually like this beautiful brown color like i've never saw a clear slime this co color so she really got it down to the t as far as like the coffee color and it was like a little sticky but it was not really bad i had to add a little bit of activated and oh my god just look at the color it's just so beautiful other people probably won't think it is but i love coffee and i just think this color is so pretty and it literally smells like coffee it smells so good i've had coffee slimes and they don't smell like coffee but this one definitely does it smells so good i barely wanted to mix it in with the base of the slime but i did end up keeping a little bit of the coffee slime because i just loved it by itself Now, once you mix the two slimes together, it turns into this beautiful chocolate latte coffee color. I don't know how she got her color so accurate, but I was in love with it. And I know I mentioned earlier that I thought that the banana would overpower like the coffee scent, but it mixed beautifully. Like I literally smelled both of them. It just is amazes me like how she did it. This slime, it was thick and it was stretchy. It had really nice bubble pops. It was inflatable. It wasn't as inflatable as the other ones. It didn't have as good a sizzle as the, as the other ones like the previous ones prior to this one but it was still very enjoyable now i do want to mention like once i mix it all together it did become like a thiggly texture but i guess that's what makes it like the slay slime because it wasn't like super thick as it was with just the base This slime is called Strawberry Ice Cream Cone. It is said to be a fluffy clay slime, scented like vanilla ice cream and strawberries. And it came with two charms, a ice cream cone and a strawberry. And it was like a plastic fake strawberry. I thought it was gonna be one of those little squishy strawberries, but it wasn't unfortunately. So of course I didn't mix them into the slime because I knew it would be really uncomfortable for me to play with it. So this is said to be a fluffy clay slime and it's said to be scented like vanilla ice cream and strawberries. So when I first opened the slime, the smell hit me in the face. I really did enjoy the smell to a certain extent. It smelled like yogurt and strawberry. And then when I started to play with it more, it started to smell like the strawberry shortcake ice cream bars. And then after playing with it more, it started to smell like baby doll hair, like old baby doll hair. It smelled like all three of those. So this slime was a little hard to stretch at first, but after playing with it and stretching it, it did become much better. 
and I do like the fake strawberries that is in the slime. They gave it a really nice texture. This slime also had like a really chewy texture, if that makes sense. And then it gave you really good sizzles and decent bubble pops for it to have clay in it. And it definitely inflated a lot. So I would like to give this slime a 5 out of 5 strawberry ice creams. This slime is called Tangaloo. It is said to be a slave plus clay slime and it is scented like strawberry milk in Shirley Temples. And it has all of those beautiful red and white sprinkles on the bottom. So of course I wanted to feel the base of the slime. And when I say that none of her slimes feel exactly the same when it comes to the base, just know I ain't lying. So I'm not for sure how I felt about the scent of the slime. To me, it just kind of smelled like strawberry soap. I don't know what um, a Shirley Temple smells like, but if it smells anything like this, it smells like a strawberry soap. And this slime, it was really thick, and it was one of those slimes that was kind of hard to stretch at first. But once you play with it a little more, it definitely gets a little better. It's not the stretchiest slime to begin with, but it definitely inflates a lot and it gives you like i say decent bubble pops due to the clay being in it and her clear slimes are so thick just based off of the like little two ounce that's in the picture i can tell that her clear slimes are thick she had some clear slimes but i prefer slimes that are scented so i don't always go for clear slimes so adding the little strawberries and sprinkle in the clear slimes definitely gives it a different texture compared to the base just being by itself. So I guess that's what gives it like the little sleigh feature to the slime because it's not super clay heavy to where it's a butter slime and it becomes like a little thickly. So, as you guys can see, it was a little stiff when I was adding the clay pieces. I mean, it was kind of stiff before I started, but it became more stiff, like, once I added the clay pieces in the clear slime. But, like I mentioned prior, it definitely gets better the more you play with it, and it eventually becomes soft and a little stretchy, kind of like a medium, low stretchy, but it's definitely doable and i really enjoyed the slime regardless how stretchy it was just because it was so soft and sizzly and fluffy so for this slime i'm going to give it a five out of five tangaloos and we'll just imagine the little crystal candy sugars on top of the strawberries because that's what tangaloo is i researched it so we're coming up to the very last slime after this and i just wanted to go ahead and give my personal thoughts on the shop a little ahead of time in case you guys decide y'all want to click off before the last slime and i want to say that i absolutely recommend this shop it came fast the slimes were reasonable some of them were a little higher than i would have liked them to but you know 
hey it is what it is i wanted it so i purchased it also all of her textures are different textures well i guess of course that depends on what you buy but if you read the description you can definitely get lucky and get some good slimes i can hands down say that this is one of my favorite slime shops i would definitely purchase from it her again i don't know if i would record it unless you guys just want me to other than that it would just be for fun on the side but this is absolutely one of my favorite shops so highly recommend she just had a restock so she may have some slimes available and if you have the funds definitely go purchase this slime is called lilac and it is a diy clay slime it is said to be scented like fluffy pink candy and champagne toast and oh my goodness this scent is so amazing it should definitely be in each slime, each restock. I don't care if this it doesn't go. It should go anywhere. Like, if you call it Banana Laffy Taffy, like, put it, Fluffy Pink Candy and Champagne Toast. It just smells that good, honestly, guys. Now, the base of the slime is still glossy, even though, like, it's a slay slime. Now, one thing I can say, I feel like the clay portion to this slime was like really basic it was basically like a blob of clay i mean it doesn't change the fact on how good the actual slime is because it was still a good slime but i definitely feel like it was a basic slime This slime, it was really soft. It was also very inflatable. Now, this is the only one that got really sticky once I did inflate it, but I didn't mind. And it was, like, so soft. It was one of the softest slimes that I have felt in a while. And for both the, the DIY slimes, like the last two, both of them filled up the 8-ounce container plus the deli container once inflated. So, you get... A whole nother slime outside of what you actually paid for once you inflate it now i'll definitely give this slime a five out of five flowers and i'll give the shop a 10 out of 10 as far as recommendation just go visit her shop she's definitely worth it at least from this restock this is only a first time experience but first impression is kind of a last impression and i recommend it